It is another limited edition, it is of a Swedish truck, and it's by WSI Models. To give it its full name, it's a Volvo FH4 sleeper cab 8x2 with a tag axle and a Powerfinger 7800-002 loader crane, complete with a jib. It is in the colours of BA Persons Cranbillar. As you can see, out of the box we have the truck, and a small Powerfinger manual automatically reveals itself. Then we have a bag of parts, and that's followed by the fly jib. First up, here is the usual Palfinger manual. Assembly, you are having a laugh. Actually, all we're going to do is add on the lifting beam to the top of the headboard. So we go for the deep dive under, and as we see, it's a typically detailed WSI chassis. All of the transmission and suspension is detailed, and there are different tyres on the driven axle. Looking at the Volvo cab, and it's another very nice example. The mirrors are colour coded and there are graphics on the windscreen, and the detailing of the Volvo front grille is very sharp. There is also a realistic number plate. Looking at the cab side on, and there are some very nice graphics. And the wheel trims complement the truck nicely. A high point of the detailing is the tiny graphics on the Palfinger loader crane. Another very nice detail is the Volvo name on the exhaust box. And not quite so good is that the outrigger piston cannot be fully retracted. At the back of the truck, the light assembly is very detailed but it seems to be fitted a bit too low on the review model and there's not much clearance to the mud flap. The detailing of the deck is really nice with its replica timbers and WSI does a great job with its Palfinger loader cranes with all of the sections having fin walls and all of the pistons being modelled. The fly jib is also very good but the scale means that the last few sections are not telescopic. <laughs> We will start with the steering and it is linked, but the range of movement is, as it often is, just quite small. In terms of rolling on the Cranes Etc Super Highway, this truck is very good. And if we try setting the steering, we see that we can trace out a shallow curve. The tag axle at the rear has a feature in that it can be clipped up out of service. And if you do that, the axles raise just enough that the wheels don't turn when the truck is driven. There's a nice tilting cab which can be posed in the tilted position and that lets our drunken cameraman have a good look at the detailed engine. Once we've done that then closing up the cab is a nice smooth operation. One of the display options that the model offers is to fit deck posts and these are metal with a very good fit. Plenty are supplied and you can have them in different configurations. Setting up to use the loader crane is done in the usual way and you pull out the outriggers at the back and the ones that are located at the loader crane. Those particular ones are stored upside down for transport so you need to be able to rotate them round to lower the pads. And once they're in position you can lower them by unscrewing. Lowering the pads reveals nice smooth pistons and there are tiny spreader plates that you can put under each of the pads. Now that we are all stable we can open up the loader crane and the hydraulic rams are suitably stiff. You unfold the loader crane in a certain sequence and then you can rotate it and then we can adjust it into the desired position. The loader crane has got many telescopic sections and they all pull out smoothly and there's generally enough friction that they don't slide back in when you raise the boom. If you need more reach then you can attach the fly jib and so to do that you disconnect the top section and then it is replaced by the fly jib. It slots in and then you reconnect the end of the piston. With the fly jib on you can adjust the angle and also go for some extra reach. So the model gives you lots of display options but there are more and that's because you can use the truck to carry a load and here we're trying it with an access platform. And another option is to fit the tiny container locks that come with the model. And then you can position a standard 20 foot shipping container without it sliding about. 
One other thing that's interesting is that this is the Volvo version of the model, but previously WSI also released the Scania version of the model, so you could have a rare matching pair. Once again, WSI Models has produced a very nice truck model. This one is interesting because of the Powfinger loader crane, which gives you more display options. And overall, the model is certainly very attractive. So if you want a limited edition, high quality, high detail model, this one is very good. 